What's going on guys? Greg again and in this video I'm going to discuss the modulation tab in battery. Uh, this is where everything I've taught in the main tab and the effects tab kind of really comes together because with modulation you can really take a bland sample and make it super original and really cool. So uh, you have two LFOs and a modulation envelope for your options here. And what an LFO is, is a low frequency oscillator. It's, uh, it allows you to add modulation to a signal on a periodic basis. All of these pulses here, these continuous pulses, those are what's going to be modulating the signal. A modulation envelope is going to modulate the signal based on the ADSR curve here, or in this case, the AHDSR curve, or much like the volume and pitch envelopes, you can select between the AHDSR, which is for things with like sustain, and the AHD, which is more for one shots. If you haven't seen my video on these, um, I would go check out the video on volume and pitch envelopes in battery. Um, so in the LFOs, let's go back to there for a second. You have the option to modulate based on a sine wave, a saw wave, a pulse wave, and battery will make a random wave there if you want it. Uh, so the frequency knob selects how frequent the modulation will occur. The attack affects how strongly it'll come on and how long it'll take for the modulation to reach its max level. And on the pulse wave, you actually have a pulse width. You can adjust the width of the pulse, which can kind of add swing to your modulation, which is pretty cool. You have the option to sync it to the host or your host DAW's BPM uh, to all of these options here. Everything from whole notes to 64th triplet notes. And re-trigger, if that's on, each new MIDI note is going to re-trigger the, oops, sorry, the LFO cycle up here. So same thing with LFO2. The modulation envelope, again, it's just like setting the volume and pitch envelopes here. So I have the AHDSR set up here. And, oh, you have a curve knob to decide how uh, steep or subtle you want that initial attack curve to be. Um, and you have the modulation slots, which decide what is going to modulate what. So I'll show you real quickly an example. The mod envelope here, this envelope, is going to be modulating the formant talk knob on the EQ effect. So this guy right here is going to be modulated by that envelope. I'll show you real quick what this sample sounds like without it. now with it. And this isn't necessarily any technique that you would actually use. Um, kind of added a cool formity kind of ring to the tone. Um, this, this is really where you need to start experimenting and see what works and what doesn't and um, make your own original sounds. Uh, you have so many options here. These can all modulate, all of these parameters can modulate any of the parameters in this, uh, this drop down. So guys, that's the modulation tab in a nutshell. I um, hope you learned a lot. I know it was quick. But uh, thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll get to the setup tab. So as always, guys, happy producing, and have a great day.